Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C-square. In this example we, will, we have a kite and we need to find these two angles, one and two. And uh, if you notice a kite has two consecutive sides congruent, right? So in this case A, D, A, B. B, C and D, C are also congruent, but the opposite sides are not congruent. That is the definition of a kite. And we have some property for kites. One of them is this one. Kites have exactly one pair of congruent angles. And this picture, in fact, really helps you and tell you which one are those. If in your mind you said, hey, angle 1 and 2 looks like they are congruent, you are correct. So measure of angle 1 plus measure uh, is equal of measure of angle 2. Okay, so that's the good part, but how can I find, still find the angles? Very simple. We're going to add all these angles of this kind. A, B, C, and D. And since this kind is a quadrilateral, right, the sum of the interior angle is going to be 360. Okay, so... Now what? So now we have 105, right? That's his angle A. Plus, eh, let's uh, replace this with x. Measure of angle B, which is 1, is x. Measure of angle C is 63. And the measure of angle D, which is 2, I'm going to call it again x. And that is 360. So now we end up with an algebraic equation. Right? So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to combine these two guys. And we have uh, 105 plus 63, 168. We're going to combine these two x's plus 2x equals. Uh, 360. Subtract 168. 2x equals 192. And x will be divided by 2, obviously, 96. So that means the measure of angle 1 it's equal, like I said, it's equal to the measure of angle 2, and both of them are 96 degrees. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.